Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, so today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, as you can see, you can actually hear my voice, uh, as opposed to my other videos in which you're just uh, gameplay or whatever. Um, I thought I'd do uh, tips for how to get the maskers as I'm getting closer and closer to unlocking it. Probably should be getting it in about uh, three, three or so weeks. So I'm, I'm just going to go right into it. Um, one of the tips that I found useful, I'm just going to go down the list. So uh, one of the tips I found useful was to use FMJ to get long shots. Um, that applies to most, if not all guns. I don't think that you can apply that to like uh, pistols or whatever. By the way, I am going to be uh, putting game gameplay to some of these uh, tips that I am going to be going going through. So hopefully that helps out as well. So um as i was saying fmj to get long shots so i guess you know that would go with like a light machine gun ar maybe a sub or whatever and let's say if you're playing like a shoot house um and you're shooting down the middle you're probably going to pick up more kills than if you weren't uh using fmj so that would be one another would be to use claymores let's say again if you're playing in shoot house and uh, you were to set down a claymore uh, on your left or right side and you're let's say getting long shots and mounted kills again in the middle um, And someone tries to flank around you your claymore odds are is probably gonna take care of the person who's trying to flank around you and you're able to pick up more kills uh, Before you die. So that's one of the reasons as to why claimers I think would be a good idea to run um, Just whenever it is you're picking up those mounted kills long shots what have you Another one would be to use launchers as secondary as well as spotter because spotter is something that you, you just have to have while using launchers. But running launchers as secondary is something that I would just highly recommend as well as I'm pretty sure anybody who's going for Damascus will probably recommend you to have as a secondary uh, as early as possible because um, if you're probably like right about to get Damascus, like one of the last things that you need to do is launchers. It's one of the worst things possible because it just takes forever and it's just, it's it's not good. So having launchers like in the beginning and taking care of those as soon as possible is just what you want to do. So having launchers as secondary and taking taking care of those as soon as possible, that's, that's ideal. Um, you wanna keep backing out until you get rust shit me or shoot house now this is something that i did when shoot the ship or anything that included small maps wasn't there so this is something that you want to do when they don't have uh sorry uh when they don't have shoot the ship uh anything that includes small maps um now i don't recommend this if you don't have the patience because you're gonna be backing out a lot if you don't have the patience Damascus really isn't something that you like really want to get then I don't recommend this for you Because uh, you're gonna be backing out a lot. You're probably gonna get like shipment or something like that probably like one out of like 15 matches that you back out but uh, Yeah, this is yeah, this is something I recommend but at the same time don't unless you have like the patience for it um Another thing that I would recommend is to use the munitions field upgrade when using launchers. Now at the same time, this is like kind of like a give and take, I guess you could say, I don't really know what saying you wanna go, what you wanna go for, but using the munitions upgrade uh, only because like once you're using the launchers, like it only comes with like, I think two, I could be wrong, it probably comes with less. Um, and you'll run out of ammo and let's say if you're like shooting something, something down, you'll need like more more like am ammunition or whatever um but sometimes you don't even get to use all the ammo so that's why like i like suggest it but at the same time i don't suggest it um because you just end up dying and like you you're given more ammo because you just you just spawn back so it's just like i suggest it but i don't suggest it so it's just good to have but then then it's kind of like useless if you like really think about it so it's like it's up to you honestly another one is the deployable field upgrade um that's good because like let's say for example if you're standing on something what are you going to mount your gun on well you can mount your gun on your field upgrade um not a lot of people know about this or maybe they do uh, i just know that some people don't um so you 
get mount your gun on the field upgrade you can stand on something you can throw it down mount it you can start picking up uh, mounted kills so that's something that i would uh, recommend another thing i would recommend is to use death silence when uh, leveling up the ryan shield the reason why i would recommend this is because let's say for example uh, you're getting kills for your ride shield well if you uh, activate the death silence you can go from one kill to another to, to another faster because uh i like if i'm correct and as, as most people know the riot shield is going to let you go faster from one person to another so that's another reason uh why i would uh, recommend uh, death silence <sighs> Now, another one that I would uh, recommend, and this is probably one of the biggest things that I would recommend, is uh, to commit to each camo challenge or whatever. To commit to each camo challenge. Uh, the reason as to why I would rec recommend it is because I know some people that are just, uh, that would just uh, go for Damascus or go to like uh, complete the camos, but the way that they would do it is just they would level up their gun. And they would level up their camos just by getting kills instead of focusing on the camo challenges and getting them done um and i don't think that that's the way to, to go about it and that's how I, I wouldn't recommend it like that i would recommend getting all the camo challenges done as fast as possible so uh, that's what i would recommend another thing i would uh recommend is to go on the right side of shoot house uh from the side uh, of C, like flag side C from Domination, is to go on the right side and to pick up long shots from there. I don't know if the if you if that's understandable, but I am going to be uploading gameplay, so you get more of a visual image. So to go on the right side and to look down towards A, so uh, you can pick up long shots from there. You can also put up a deployable cover, so you can also get uh, mounted kills. So uh, I would re recommend that as well. Only if uh, you can't pick up long shots or mounted kills from the regular area, which is in the middle. Uh, the reason I would recommend this is because the right side, you can actually pick up uh, a decent amount of long shots. And you should see here in a second um, after, I, uh, after I upload it. <sighs> okay, so that's another good uh, tip that I picked up along the way. So... Um, another thing is um, going on the right side of the back of C of Rust. Um, I am going to be uploading gameplay of that as well. Something I picked up along the way. Um, I don't know how many people know about both of these spots, but they're both really good to pick up long shots and to pick up uh, mounted kills. So back side of C on the right, mounting on this like uh, crate, blue crate, I guess you could say. Um, you can pick up a lot of long shots there, so I would recommend that. Um, and I think you can do snipers on both of these places because I know snipers are the one that uh, that that take the like most range, have the biggest range to get long shots. So uh, another thing that I would uh, would say, or another tip that I picked up, this one was just recent. Recent is counter UAVs, personal uh, UAVs. Harriers and choppers and support helos all count as uh, ground streaks for launchers and like that's a, that's a huge thing because again I don't know how many people know about that but that, that that's a huge thing because like the ground streaks personally for me I don't know about anybody else but personally for me those those were hard like those were hard to get so uh, knowing that you can actually shoot down uh, aerial streaks and make them count for your uh, for your ground streaks um, it's huge so I would definitely uh, recommend shooting those down as well as the ground streaks because it just makes it all the more easier <laughs> finally for ARs and subs this is another huge thing um, I would recommend working on three of those at the same time because it just makes it go a whole lot quicker so um, I would venture to guess that most people um, have it if not like two then at least three so it's not you know like if, if, if not three then at least two um closely you know to gold or something they have more my point is, is that they have more done than just one so i would work on three or like at least two 
and um, get those challenges done at the same time. So if you see that you can't uh, complete camos for one in a certain map or whatever, then you just switch to the other and it just gets it done faster because it get it, you know, if you get it done faster, then you get closer to Damascus faster. And that's how I done my, got my ARs done a lot faster. And it was just, it was just so much quicker. And yeah, so that's something that I would definitely recommend. And yeah, <sighs> those were all my tips. Um, hopefully some of that helped you. I know that picking up all of those along the way definitely helped me. Um, the other one that I would say is just going inside the middle of shipment to to kill three people um, with the ride shield, but I think most most people know that one. So um, hopefully that helped you. I know a lot of those helped me. Um, so I should have Damascus pretty soon here. <sighs> and yeah, if that helped you, uh, please the uh, you know let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like and. Um, you know, share this with your friends. Um, maybe it'll help them. But yeah, um, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. It's all you ever talk about. It's all you ever talk about.